So there might be some occasions we need to use a head collar when we are training your whippet. Um, sometimes I will use the head collar with Arkel for a little bit more control with his reactivity. Um, there are lots of reasons we might need a head collar. I'm not going to hugely go into them right now. Um, but what's really important is that if we do use a head collar, we train our dogs to be okay with it. So he's following the treats. Come here. <laughs> if I am using a head collar with Arkel, uh, his preference is this figure of eight head collar, um, which sort of goes over his face. He's used to this a bit like this. Um, there we go. He gets a nice little treat. Let me make sure you can see him a bit better. There we go. Um, so we use that. You can see he's really good with it. The way that we trained this was I got him loads of treats right to his nose, get him used to just eating with the loop around my wrist. Lots of treats. Some of these are dry foods, so he's a little bit unimpressed. And then I will just use the treat to bring his head through. Use the treat to bring his head through. I'm not bringing his head through hugely the first few goes. I'm just making it so that he puts his head through a little bit. He gets a treat, he can come out. It could be for some dogs we just keep treating at a really rapid pace. But then I might stop for a second so he starts to understand it is literally just the head collar getting him treats. Do that again. We would do this in lots of two minutes sort or of bursts and then I would probably just slip it over his head so he's getting used to that motion. We do two, two to three minute bursts, hither and thither and um, always for the sake of videos of doing this at a much uh, faster pace you want to take it nice and slow and steady. If I am starting it I will always put it bigger kids away than I need it to be so I Oh, he thinks we're doing holes, sorry. <laughs> um, then I've sort of got the double loop so that I can get his head through two loops of it. And then I can get him used to doing that. His head is coming through. It's take, he's taking the treats through it. I'm not trying to cram it over his face. It's all nice and it, it, at his pace, good boy. And then I'm gonna slide it over the top. And he's gonna get loads of treats one after the other. It's loosely fitting deliberately the first few times because I want to be able to quickly whip it off if he is uncomfortable with it. The idea is initially he is getting tons and tons and tons of treats for this, um, which he's quite happy about. And then we can, over a few sessions, start to decrease the pace of those treats. So we can start to go a little bit slower. If I think we're finding it a bit annoying, wafting over his face, I can just tighten it a tiny bit. Good boy. And I can keep sort of just keeping him like this. We've got it sitting like this, so if he is finding it um, a bit annoying, I've just got it tighter um, so that he can, I can make it tighter without it faffing, but I can still uh, whip it straight off his head. Um, so we would do loads of little sessions of this, however little, many your dog may need. We're sort of slowing down the pace of those treats as we see improvement. And then we would sort of probably take them for a little walk around the living room on it and sort of be rewarding them for walking on it. Because being very still on it is very different to moving and being active, um, which I'll get a little clip of in a moment. But the goal here is we're creating a nice conditioned happy feeling about this head collar. Um, you can see Arkel really likes the treats we're using. Um, he will do probably anything, um, which makes him feel very happy about the head collar. Um, he will sometimes wear a head collar where I may be having a bad day with my own muscles, or we may need to go places such as the vets um, where he finds it very uncomfortable there and it's very short in space and I may need a bit more control of him. Um, but it is really important I condition him for it, for it. So we just did a few really short sessions when he was a puppy on this. Um, so I'll show a little clip of us doing this on the lead um, and go for that. So if I've got him on lead, um, yes, I'm going to have it on him. Be giving him plenty of rewards just for being still to start with. 
Personally, what I might do is if my dog likes training, I will just start to do little bits of training with the head collar on, personally. So I might ask him for some sits, some downs. Down. Yes. Um, I might ask him for some things he really enjoys. Touch. Yes. Um, and things that make him happy. But then when we've perhaps done a little bit of that, I'll just have him on head collar, use the treat to lure him forward and make sure he's getting plenty of treats. He's unhappy about the dry food still. Yes. And make sure he realises that, oh, it's a bit too loose, I think, that he can eat off the floor, um, which he definitely can in real life. Um, keep your, ses your sessions short and sweet. They don't need to be super long. You can even walk backwards if that's a bit easier. But this has been sort of a quick flying visit um, into head collars. Um, break everything down into really small steps for your dog. Go at your dog's pace. If they're constantly clawing at their face, then they are uncomfortable and you want to go back a step. Um, if you have any questions, just give me a shout.